Hello everybody, this is Denim Darlin and today I am going to clean my silversmith boots. I've owned these boots for a year and a half and I've only conditioned them once about a year ago actually, but I've never cleaned them before. It's about time. This leather does require very little maintenance. The copper rough and tough leather is saturated in oils and it's one of those leathers that's known for going long periods of time without having to condition it. And that's one of the reasons that this leather is so popular. This is my all time favorite boot. I have about close to 30 boots in my collection. And if I had to choose just one boot, this would be it. It's gorgeous. Before I get too much into my boot cleaning video, I wanna talk about the Carol. So as y'all may remember a few months ago, I purchased the Carol and Oro Legacy leather. I did an unboxing video on them. And I had purchased those in a size six, which is my usual size in most Red Wing boots. And what I found with that pair of boots is that it turned out to be a little too roomy for me. So for being a brand new pair of boots, the moment I put my foot in to both boots, there, there was already plenty of wiggle room and lateral room, so on the sides of my foot. And what you should be feeling in a pair of boots is that they hug your foot. There's a nice hug, a nice warm hug. Shouldn't be squeezing you. Usually if they're squeezing you and it's uncomfortable from the beginning or if you feel numbing on your feet, they're too small. So those boots were a little roomy, so I rehomed them to a good home. And I took a chance and got another pair of the Carols in a size five and a half. Now, I don't own any five and a halfs in boots. All of my boots are again either a six or a six and a half. And when I put these boots on, I realized that they're hugging my foot a lot more than usual. My experiment is going to be, is the break-in process going to be worth it? And will there be a proper break-in process with these boots? Are they going to stretch out enough to conform to my feet and become comfortable over time? Or did I make a mistake and buy them too small? Now, the size six might have just been an error on that specific boot. Like I said, these boots are finished by hand, so it could be that those were just made a little too roomy. Maybe I should have tried another size six and that would have been okay, but I didn't. And instead of returning these, I thought to myself, it'll be fun to try them out, test them, wear them. I'm gonna do it for about a month and I am going to record the process. I'm gonna tell you guys how they feel after a few days, after a week, after two weeks, etc. And if they are gonna to get to a point of being wearable and comfortable to me. So I'm gonna do that for me, for you guys, uh, to talk about sizing and the consequences of either going too small or going with a boot that feels perfect in the beginning but becomes more and more comfortable with time. If you have any questions on what I just explained, please let me know in the comments. I know that was probably a little bit confusing, but in essence, what I'm gonna do is try these boots out for a month and let you all know the results. Okay, moving on to the silversmith. Today I will be using the leather boot cream to condition them. I will use the leather foam cleaner from Red Wing, the boot protector spray, and I am going to use the sponge that comes with the foam boot cleaner and a horsehair brush to brush the boots off and buff them. All right, let me show you guys how dirty these boots are. So as you can tell they're developing some really nice patina. There's a toe cap. Um, there are parts in the toe cap where I usually lean my foot against the ground. I don't know if that's super visible. This is the boot. It's uh, conformed really, really nicely to my foot. This boot is so functional. It goes with every outfit. I can put this boot to work. I beat it up a lot. There are some scuffs to it. Something I've noticed about this boot, if y'all look at images of boots, of silversmith boots that are worn, is that this pool tab often sags down. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. It bothers me so much. So I've made an effort to keep this tab up. And these boots, again, are about a year and a half old and I've succeeded and I plan to keep it that way as much as possible. Here's the other boot. So what I'm going to do is I am going to clean off as much dirt as I can and then I am going to condition them. What I love about the leather boot cream is that it won't affect the color of these boots very much. And it's very important to me that I keep the copper, the copper rough and tough color. Okay. 
Okay, let's get to it. Let's go to my kitchen. Alrighty, everybody, we made it to my kitchen. I am going to get started on cleaning these boots first. I am going to fill this container with warm water. Next, I am going to add two capfuls of the foam leather cleaner. I'm gonna grab the sponge and agitate the solution. And before I get to cleaning the boots, I am going to remove the laces off of them. Next, I am going to brush both boots. I'm gonna take the debris off of them. Any dust, anything on the welt, I wanna brush off. And I wanna clean everything underneath the tongue. It doesn't look bad. I'll start with the left boot. I'm going to rinse the sponge between each shoe so I don't get the water filthy. I'm going to go over them a second time. I'm gonna wipe them off a little bit really quick, the cloth, and then I'm gonna let them finish air drying. There's boot number one. And here is a comparison with the other boot, so you can see a difference. repeat the process with the second boot.
there is a nice amount of dirt coming off of the sponge. I'm going to do it a second time. down with this cloth. Here are both boots side by side. I'm going to let the leather finish drying before I apply the coat of boot cream. Okay, both boots are dry, so I'm going to start the conditioning process. And again, I am using the leather boot cream, which doesn't darken leather, and I don't want my copper offensive boots to become darker. I really love this leather a lot. I'm going to use my hands. Some people like to use a cloth. Some people like to use a dauber brush. I like to use my hands because I feel like I use up less product and like I have more control of the application process. A little bit goes a long way with these products. When applying the conditioner, I want to make sure that I get not only the entire upper part of the boot, but I also want to get the welt. The welt is made out of leather and it's very important to keep it healthy. You always wanna get the tongue of the boots also.
after I'm done applying the boot cream, I am going to quick, give them a quick buff. I'm gonna brush lightly, and I'm just removing excess boot cream, evening out the boot cream, and giving it a nice little shine. Okay, let me show you the difference between boot number one and boot number two. So this is the boot that's been conditioned versus the boot that has not. And conditioned. Okay, I am done conditioning the boot. Now I am going to brush it lightly. Again, to buff it out, give it a little bit of shine, and remove some of the excess boot cleaner and even it out. There you go. The final touch is going to be a spritz on both boots all around of the foam le of the leather protector. And the leather protector helps protect them from dust, water, dirt, debris. So this says, use in a well-ventilated area, away from heat and flame. Shoe should be clean and dry. Hold bottle six to eight inches from shoes and spray over entire surface. Allow to dry before wearing.
the leather protector doesn't stain the leather. Okay, these are ready. I'm just gonna put the shoelaces back on. I hope that was enjoyable. I hope you learned a lot. And now you can see what the boot cream does to leather. It doesn't darken it much. Um, just keep in mind that initially the boots are gonna look darker. After a few days, they will lighten up dramatically. Thank you very much for watching. This is Denim Darlin. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I plan on posting more videos that I hope you all find of value. Thank you very much.